What's up, it's you. For today's video, we're going full Bat and Pass Pokemon team. Now, Bat and Pass is definitely one of my very favorite moves, so I decided to a dedicated team having every six Pokemon have the move Baton Pass. Now, Baton Pass can actually pass stats back and forth as well as some other interesting moves as well. That begs today's question, what is your favorite stat boosting move or move to use with Baton Pass? Let me know in the comment section of the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to hit that bell, select it, all the notifications because if you miss the salt, it's not my fault. Speaking of which, people, the merch is here. Link in the description. We have the If You Miss the Salt, It's Not My Fault t-shirt available and the hoodie available in a wide range of colors so if you want to check that one out you definitely should now i was thinking why not throw some other salt you know products in and we've got a salt pillow so you can dream of me while being salty you can drink some more salt and you can take a salty selfie with that phone now that's available in android and iphone so if you guys want to buy this stuff and check it out that link is in the top of the description of the video there. If you actually do end up getting something, please let me know in the comment section of the video. I'll give you home a little heart. Uh, this is my remaining salt merch as well. If you haven't checked it out, we've got the salt mug, the One Health, and the uh, One Hit KO salt shirt. If you want to check that out, you should. I'd absolutely appreciate it with this uh, crazy YouTube climate. And let's get into it. We've got two battles today, and uh, the first battle is quite short. The second one was long like something else. All right, so we got a Drampa lead here. So the idea with this team, right, is to get that baton and pass it around more than a public toilet seat. So we got an Umbreon lead here. We're going to be using a special set. This was a uh, Baton Pass. How many times are I going to use Baton Pass in this video? Let me know. We got Baton Pass, Wish, a Dank Pulse, and Trump Cup. So we got the ability synchronized and leftovers as well. Max Health, Max Special Attack. Drampa is going to body me turn one with that Focus Miss. That has definitely got to be Choice Specs. Oh, my poor Umbreon just went ripping one turn. So now we're going to go into Orikoryo Sensu here. Orikoryo Sensei. And uh, we've got this little set here. We've got a physical set. So we got Baton Pass, Aero Ace, Sword Dance, and Calm Mind. Uh, we got the Ability Dancer and Item Citrus Spray. So some of the like boosting moves I had in this were actually for other Pokemon in the team. So I could sort of use a move, then pass it on, and then on, and on, and on. So uh, we got the Cacton using Sucker Punch there. And I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. So of course this doesn't have any special moves. But say I went for a Calm Mind, then I could, you know, Baton Pass pass it on to another Pokemon that's a special user, right? That, that was like sort of the deal. Like all the Pokemon kind of work together. So we're going to go for a little Baton Pass there. And we're going to Baton Pass into the Farfetch. Now Farfetch actually gets a uh, Baton Pass through a pretty cool uh, Coliseum. And uh, we got Dank Pulse here on the Cacton. It's, a it's like a mixed set. It doesn't even take me all the way down to my like Focus Sash with like a, a Life Orb. Now it's going to go for Sucker Punch. You, you know, your boy is a Sucker Punch God. So we're going to go for the uh, Sword Dance there. So I've got plus two in attacks. So I was thinking, mm, are they going to go for attack this turn? Should I risk and go for another Sword Dance? So I decided to go for another Sword Dance there. I get two Sword Dance up. Now this is the thing I was thinking. Maybe they're going to expect me to go for it this time. Or should I go for like super risky and go for another sword dance? I went super risky and went for the play with acrobatics. And uh, Cacton is going to go down. So that was pretty good. I almost went for the sword dance there. It was very touch and go, if you know what I mean. All right. So now, uh, speaking of touch and go, we've got the big Reggie Rock coming out here. And uh, the far fetch set, of course. Of course. We've got Iron Tail in this one. Iron Tail connects. Reggie Rock's got a focus sash. Focus. Like, that, that, seriously, guys. Clear body and a focus sash. That, that's like cheating. That's like sturdy and clear body at the same time. Hacker exposed. All right, so they're going to have... Why are these people bringing focus sash like bulky Pokemon? Is this a meme now? Like, it was it was Metacross. I, I even did Deoxys D for the lols. We had Reggie Rock. Like, I, 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 come on. Like, what's going on here? All right, so my Farfetch is down there. We're going to swap in the big Mr. Mine. We're going to go for that barrier. So barrier is a pretty cool move. And I should be able to bat and pass it as well. It's going to give me a plus two in defense. All right, so we got the Reggie Rock going for explosion here. Now, that was a good thing I actually went for the barrier there because Mr. Mime, well, this set isn't very bulky. And I just hang on there on 16 health and, and uh, we get that Salak Berry uh, little bonus there. So I forgot to say what the Farfetch set was. We had Acrobatics, Bat and Pass, Sword Dancer, and Iron Tail, Max Attack, and Max Speed. The Mr. Mime... Uh, was Baton Pass, Barrier, Carmine, and Confusion. Ability Soundproof and Item Salic Bro. Alright, so Drampa is going to get confused by the Confusion. Fancy that. And I was hoping it would get a little bit confused. And it actually gets through the Confusion and it goes for the uh, Hyper Voice. Now, I've got Soundproof. Soundproof is actually very, very handy on this team because 
Like, say someone used Roar right, your strategy is, like, sinking super fast. Uh, like, things like Whirlwind were a little bit of a problem, but, like, sound-based moves were sort of nice. All right, so we're going to go for, a, like, a, a bat and pass there. We're going to pass off that. Remember that Salic Bear and that uh, Barry, you know what I'm talking about? And uh, we're going to go into the Duran House. So this was a Fury Attack. A uh, Fury Cutter set. Sorry, not Fury uh, Fury Attack. A uh, Fury Cutter set. Now, Cryogonal has about one defense, so that does pretty good damage. It's going to go for the Hidden... I think this was Hidden Power Fire... Almost takes me out. I live on one health. The merch is available. Guys, it's in the description. Buy some now. And now uh, we're going to get that Pataya Berry. Pataya Berry Durant. Now that Pataya Berry, right, was actually low key for another special attacking Pokemon. It's not going to come in handy for me, so I just went for another Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter misses, and Crygonal takes me out with a Rapid Spin. Oh, I'm so salty. Man, I, like the disrespect Rapid Spin, okay? That, that's what I do. Not That doesn't what happened to me. Come on. Uh, so Krogan is going to get a little bit of leftover recovery. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm super salty right now. I've got to get back in this game. So we're going to be bringing in uh, Gorobis. I like Gorobis. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. So we've got the Krogan actually swapping out here. And we've got the Drampit coming back in, unfortunately, because I don't really have much to hit Dramp with. So I've got Akaring, Baton Pass, Aquatail, and Muddy Water. Sorry, I mean Scummy Water. So go for that Scummy Water. It does look scummy. Look at it. It's, it's, it's very dirty. All right, so I was hoping for an actually drop. That didn't actually happen. So we're going to swap the Gorobis out. I could have gone for a dry Baton Pass, but I didn't want to risk it. And uh, we're going to go into Mr. Mime, hoping they go for a Hyper Voice, which they do. Now, I'm convinced, obviously, this is a choice specs Drampa. So if Drampa just wants to keep using Hyper Voice against me, I'm going to have my uh, I'm gonna have my fingers in my ears while it uses them. So it's got to swap out, and uh, Ludicola is going to come in here. So Ludicola's doing a little bit of a jiggle. Uh, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind. This is a plus one in uh, attack. Uh, sorry, special attack and special defense. I could have gone for Nasty Plot, but I wanted to make Mr. Mime a little bit bulker, as well as a Pokemon I actually bat and passed it on to. So I'm going to go for Confusion here. I wish I had Technician on this set, but, uh, you know, Confusion doesn't... Like, it would have done a lot more damage. And Ludicolo goes for Hydro Pump. That was ambitious, and it lands, but damn, man. If that missed, that would have, that would have been really bad for Ludicolo. So Ludicolo's got the uh, Life Orb too there. It's going to do a lot of damage. So we're going to swap in the Oricorio again. Hoping I can get like a maybe a free swap in against this thing. I mean, you know, I'm in a bad place at the moment. It's 2 4 down. I've got to get back into this game. So Drapper's going to come in here. Drapper doesn't have very much health at all. So I just went for, I went for Sword Dance anyway, hoping they'd swap, which they do. So I know that I can take Drapper out. I was thinking, hmm, what's Drapper going to do? It's not going to go for Focus Miss. It's not going to go for Hyper Voice. I think it's going to maybe go for a Dragon type move. Or some other coverage move, like a fire type move. So I went into uh, the Gorobis there, hoping it was the ladder, like a fire type move. And it was Fire Blast. Fire Blast connects right, but man, it does a lot of damage. Like, this is this definitely choice specs. So poor old Gorobis is like, what am I going to do here? Should I go for the Aquatail? Like, what is my play here? Then they swapped and went into Cryogonal. Uh, maybe expecting like a scummy water. I went for Aquatail anyway. That was sort of like my only option. And Cryogonal was going to go down like a little snowflake. And we've got a couple of... We've got three more Pokemon remaining. So Drampa, I was thinking... Okay, I can take that out with the Aquatail because I've got a plus two in attack. Uh, Scummy Water's not going to take it out unless I actually get a actual drop. Decided to go for a sneaky Baton Pass. I was thinking... They're going to go for Hyper Voice, aren't they? So I went back into Oricorio Center, like, hoping they were going to go for a Hyper Voice. Man, I played this Drampa like a fiddle this entire game. All right, so this is good. I've got a plus two in attack with Oricorio. I can go for an Aerial Ace, and uh, Drampa is going to go down. So that's pretty good. We've got a Ludicolo left, which is weak to Aerial Ace, and one other Pokemon. So out comes Ludicolo. It's time to see if I can outspeed it or not. And uh, this thing could hit me with, like, an Ice Beam, something scary like that, and definitely take me out. So go for the Aerial Ace there. A Ludicolo is going to go down, and that pineapple was chopped in half. Now, there's one other Pokemon I was kind of scared of. It uh, was the Dodger. Now, Dodger is quite a fast Pokemon. It's got some solid attack, and it could definitely, like, easily end my Oricuri. My Gor like, Gorobis actually has some nice base defense, so I was sort of hopeful I could get, you know, maybe a uh, Scummy Ward off against that. And it's going to go for the Brave Bird here. Now, Brave Bird almost takes me out. I get some really nice recall there. I'm going to eat my berry, and it's going to give me a little bit of health left. And I'm free to go for an Aero Ace this turn. I'm very confident this will be enough to take out the Dodro because Dodro's defenses, you know, they're rather garbage. And Dodro is going to go down. And that was the first battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. Things are looking not too good there. I was, like, really, really down. All right, let's get into the second battle. But seriously, guys, Focus Ash Regigrot. Why does this ever happen, like... It happens, like, all the time now. I think people just bring Focus Ash bulky Pokemon just, like, to trigger me. All right, so next battle we have is on my Discord. This one's against Wolfram. And we got... Uh, oh, I forgot to say. 
Now, I this is a little bit different. I'm on the opposite side of the screen today because I couldn't save all my battles and I had to use their battle code to have this battle. So I'm on the opposite side with the Mr. Mime, if that wasn't obvious at all. So we're going to go for a fresh little barrier here. And they've got Whirlwind right off the bat. So that was such a huge counter. Like, I've got to get rid of that Masker. Like, this, this Pokemon is not going to faint itself. So we're going to bring in the Durant. Well, I didn't have much choice bringing Durant out there. And I've only got Home Claws and Fury Cutter. So it's like, oh, what, what should I do? Should I let them whirlwind me again in bringing like a better Pokemon? Uh, now we got uh, a physical Masker going to go for the air race there. Durant's got some nice bulk and Masker and is basically trash and attack, so it's not really going to do too much. And uh, now we got the Masker swapping out. So we got the uh, Fate of Fortune coming out, which is the uh, Dew Blades. So this thing is very bulky in defense. There's really nothing to do. I mean, real talk, at least I can't miss it if it's got no guard, which it does. So we're going to go for an Iron Defense here. That was my other move. Oh, I forgot to say my Durant set. This is Baton Pass, Iron Defense, Home Claws, and Fury Cutter, Ability Hustle, and Iron Potato Berry. Max Health and Max Speed. So uh, we got to reflect from the uh, from the Dew Blade. Not that it really needed it. It was very bulky anyway. Um, I'm going to go for Baton Pass. I cannot touch this thing uh, with a bar of soap. So swapping out with the Baton Pass. And now I was thinking, I could go into Umbreon here, right? I've given it an Iron Defense, which is pretty nice. And its special defense is actually really good. So I can go for the Dank Pulses against it. So I take a pretty uh, harsh uh, Sacred Sword there. I got Leftovers as the item. I forgot to say what that set was too. Max Health and Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. And uh, did I say Mother Nature? I meant Modest Nature. If I said that, I didn't mean to. It's, it's, it's been a little bit raining and hot today. Mother Nature is... Uh has come into effect. So uh, Dank is going to come in here onto my Dank Pulse. A double Dank there. It's not going to do anything. And it, of course, it's a bulky Dark Rise. So I really can't touch this thing uh, at all. I was thinking I could go for a Baton Pass here. Just Baton Pass my stats onto another Pokemon. Or I just should try like try and flinch this thing. I decided to see if I go for a Baton Pass. So this bit, I had to speed up a little bit because it was a very bulky Dark Rise. So into Orikori now. I was thinking, let's go for a Sword Dance. Let's get those stats up. They're not going to boost themselves. And uh, we got a Nightshade bulky Dark Rise, which is pretty interesting. I went for an air race. That was my best option. It was still a clear three-hit KO. I needed another sword dance to bust through for a two-hit KO. And I was wondering if this thing had, like, some sort of, like, recovery or anything like that. Or is it, like, uh, you know, or actually was a, like, way to put me to sleep. And uh, then it's going to use rest. So I was like, okay, I can go for another air race after this. It cannot actually sustain three hits. So it's going to have spiders as other moves. It's a pretty cool set. So it's got Nightshade and Spite. So Spite obviously reduces the PP of your last used move. A really cool move and a very underappreciated move you like you never ever see. So I'm going to go for another Air Race and Darkrai is finally going to go down. So I had to speed that one up like a little bit there. It's quite a long bit in the battle. So now the next Pokemon we've got is the Hawkmoth, which is the Masquerade. I've got to get rid of this thing. It's going to drop my attack. Now things like Intimidate, right, that's going to be passed on like, save a bat and bat and pass right now. And that negative one attack is actually going to get past the next Pokemon. So there are some bad things about it. Masker, of course, focus as we can. And I was going to use the Whirlwind. I'm so salty. So all those boosts are gone, unfortunately. And uh, now we got the Gorobus coming. So I can take this out with the tail. I mean, wait, does, does Masker even have a tail? I'm just looking at Masker. Does it have a tail? Is that little ball thing its tail? I mean, we've seen Mega Alakazam use Iron Tail. How about Masquerin's tail? That little ball. Like, somebody's going to come out of that little ball. It's going to extend and hit the Gorobus. Anyway, so Masquerin's down there, which is good. The, the, the problem about that was it was a little bit too late because it's got its whirlwind off. Anyway, so we got Kiwi Fruit coming. I haven't had a Kiwi Fruit for ages. Like, when I had one last, I went, um, I cut it in half right. I put the spoon in, but, like, you meant to, like, just get it in one. But it, it, I got it in, like, 50. Like, it's it was really weird. And then I got all the skin, so I never had one again. Anyway, um, so we got uh, Kiwi. I'm not really sure what this is going to do. It's going to be like a physical, a special set. Who knows? And uh, now we got the uh, Re oh, Trevenant coming out here. Now this Trevenant was uh, a real thorn in my side, people. Like this went for a very long time. So going for the Scummy Water, hoping for a uh, actually drop, which is kind of what I wanted on this set. And I don't get it. So any grass move is probably going to take me out if it's special. Even physical is going to hurt a lot. So I went for the uh, the dry bat and pass there. And uh, now we're going to go into Umbreon. This bit, I had to speed up a little bit. So Sticky Web right, that's going to pass all my Pokemon. Now this was really interesting. You actually got to see the sort of the negative side of the bat and pass. So uh, the Trevor's going to go for the Elite Seed right. I get some really nice damage there. But of course, it's got Citrus Barrier and it's got freaking Harvest. So this is going to go for a 69 year turn. So we got Block right. It's blocked me in. But I can use Bat and Pass with String. But uh, if I didn't have Baton Pass, I couldn't actually get out of it. So not only did I have Elite Seed, so say if I use Baton Pass right now, right, and then uh, I went into another Pokemon, that Elite Seed would still be in effect. It still would be Baton Pass. So that was like a problem here. So now we got the Trevon actually going for a Curse here. Now Curse obviously sacrifices half the health 
of the Trevenant, and it obviously affects my Umbreon too. Now, obviously, Curse is going to help out the Trevenant because they actually get rid of half its health and get that Citrus Berry to activate. Now, I wanted to show you guys. Actually, I really could win that matchup anyway, which is interesting to see. The Leech Sheet and the Curse still gets Baton passed along, which is very, very interesting. Trevenant is just going to stall me out for like 69 years here. I pretty much had to end its career in one hit. That was like the only thing I could do. So Orikara is going to go out. My Baton Pass chain is broken. So things are not looking too good. All right, so in comes Farfetch, the savior of my life here. And I thought, okay, well, let's set up Sword Dances against this thing. It can go for Curse, but, you know, that that's fine. It can go for Leech Seed. That's fine too. I've got to try and take this thing out in one shot. So firstly, Trevor is going to go for the block there. We're going to play a little bit of high five. And uh, I can no longer escape. I don't really want to escape anyway because I've, I've got sword, like two Sword Dances up at the moment. So two Sword Dances. I've got Acrobatics. So I was thinking... That should be enough to take out Trevenant. Leech Seed actually misses. I don't know if that would have mattered too much unless I went for a uh, like an, another Baton Pass or something like that. So I went for Acrobatics, and finally Trevenant is going to get turned into uh, a couple of logs for my Winter Fire. M man, I went to like... Um someone else's house and they had like a big like pile of like wood out the front it took like a day to bring it in and i got like all sort of spiders over my hands it was fun guys welcome to australia anyway so i'm gonna go for another sword dance here hoping dublay would actually activate my focus ash so i get like that full power acrobatics but it, it didn't even activate it like that they, that far fetch right has like the dodgiest like ivs anyway so i'm gonna go for a salty acrobatics at like half power and it does nothing that would have probably gone like close to half like half health with the Dude Blade. Anyway, so Dude Blade's gonna go for the Rock Slide. Um, it couldn't go for like Shadow Sneak if it, you know, if it had it because I'm a normal type. And Farfetch is gonna go down. And once again, the Baton Pass chain is broken. So all I've got left is Mr. Mime, uh, Durant, and Gorobis. So, oh, we got the Umbreon left. I'm sorry about that, Umbreon. Yo, I know you're on the screen. So Umbreon's got about uh, just over half a health left. I did a double swap here and went into Mr. Mime. So I was thinking, hmm. Does this have a steel type move or does it have the, those other coverage moves? I wasn't really sure. So my speed's going to drop there. It's going to go for Sacred Sword. Obviously, I'm a uh, you know quad resist against that, which is really nice. So it's not going to do anything to me at all. So I thought, okay, let's go for a Calm Mind here. And uh, let's see if we can get some confusion damage against this Jubilee because it's not going to happen itself. So getting that plus one in uh, Special Attack and Special Defense, I might even be able to pass it off onto the Gorobris as well. That'd be really handy. Anyway, so we got a Gyro Ball and Mr. Mime is going to go down. This, problem with, like, this Pokemon was like a really big problem. Problem. I had to get rid of it. The only thing that I was thinking to actually could get rid of it was my Durant. However, Durant, if you guys remember, it actually had a Potato Berry as its item. So what I need to happen right was I needed that Potato Berry to actually activate. So I thought, okay, I've got to stall out a couple of turns here. Let's get the uh, Iron Defense off. I might be able to get the, a couple of Iron Defenses off to my Gorobis and maybe like... Uh, leave some moves against this Dodger, like whatever set this Dodger is going to be. All right, so we got the uh, Dubai using the Reflect. That's fine. It's sort of like a stalemate turn there. I'm going to go for Home Claws. So I was thinking, okay, if, if Scummy Water misses, that'll be really bad. If I go for Home Claws right, that'll make it like 100% actually. So now we're going to go Sacred Sword here from the Dublade, which is obviously the best move to go for. Gyarabell is going to do nothing anyway. I just went for Fury Cutter. That's the best thing I could do. So pretty much he was just trying that. Did that do like one or two damage? I think it did like two. Anyway, so go for Fury Cutter again. I was thinking I can leave one more. That'll activate my uh, potato berry then i can bat and pass it into the gorobris and then gorobris can go for a scummy water and you know take this dude out or do like a lot of damage up all right so i'm in potato berry range there durant's gonna eat us a big berry the berry was actually bigger than the durant i just noticed that that's crazy anyway so go for the bat and pass there it doesn't have shadow stick thank goodness and i'm gonna grab that little baton and throw it straight to my teammate gorobris now i was thinking right bat and pass sort of makes me think of like you know, in school, right, you had like a little relay team. Like one person, like I'd run 69 like meters, right? And then someone else would run, then someone else would run, then someone else would run. That's what it like kind of reminds me of, like a relay, you know, running team. Have you guys ever done one of those before? Regardless, uh, we're going to go for the Scummy Water here on the Dublade. I knew that I'd be able to outspeed it, which is good. And I've got a plus one in special attack. This was, of oh, this Gorobra set, let me tell you what this is. It's like a really weird set. Max attack and max speed. And uh, obviously that special attack boost really helped me out a lot too. All right, so we're going to reflect there. Again, They, I think they thought that I was running only a physical set. I was actually running a mix set, both with water type moves. And uh, we're going to finish off the Dublade with the Scummy Water. Thank goodness I had Scummy Water on that set because I would have never been able to get rid of that Dublade. It's so bulky in the defensive stat. Now, the next Pokemon we've got is the Regigigas. Now, Regigigas is a very bulky Pokemon as well. I do have that, like, uh, plus one in special attack. And I've also got uh, Aquatel too. I've also got Acaring too. And now we've got the knockoff. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing is, Regigigas with slow start actually outspeeds my Gorobis. That's such a fail. 
All right, so go for all this scummy water on the big boy. It does pretty good damage. It's about a five-hit KO. And uh, now we've got Zen Headbutt. Now, the only problem with this is if, if I do get outsped, I could get flinched. I don't get flinched this time, and I got the uh, scummy water off here. So I was thinking to myself, I might actually be able to baton pass into Umbreon, hit it with a dank pulse and, or something like that. And if it goes to Zen Headbutt, it's not going to affect me, right? So I can get a free swap in. Decides to actually stay in. Drain Punch is going to miss. I don't think it would have like really done too much at all because if you guys remember, I do have that plus two in uh, Iron Defense. And uh, we got the ne next Money Water actually hitting and dropping the actually of the Regal Gigas. So the Reflect is going to wear off now. I can go for Aquatel. I can go for a like, Scummy Water, anything. Garvis is going to dodge all the attacks there before Regal Gigas can get its uh, slow start off. And uh, that is down, which is really good. So coming in clutch here with the uh, the Garvis. Now, the only Pokemon left is the Dodgeray we've seen from before. So I was thinking, okay, if this is a physical set, I'm cool. I should be able to tank like a Brave Bird, a Thrash, anything like that. But it's going to go for a protect. So I'm like, okay, like, what, what is this actually going to use? So I decided here to go for the Scummy Water because it was 100% actually and definitely, like, probably it's powerful as my max attack Aquatel. Now, both of them, too, were 100% actually. So that Home Claws actually really, like, boosted the power of Aquatel, too, if they're from the Durant. So I, I forgot about that. Not only did you give it, like, an actually boost, a plus one. All right, so now we got a uh, full force move. This is going to be Z uh, Mirror Move. Now, it's actually chosen Muddy Water. I almost actually went for the Aqua Jet there. Sorry, not the Aqua Jet. The uh, Aqua Tail, because I'd say it'd be a little bit more powerful than the Mighty Water. And that actually hits me for pretty good damage when you think about Dodger's like, oh, like horrible special attack and uh, Gorobrus' uh, defenses there. Anyway, so go for the Aquatel, and Dodro is going to live on 6 health. It actually managed to live it. Now it's going to go for a mirror move here, and it's going to use Aquatel itself there. Man, can you imagine getting hitting like my three of Dodro's like pink, like purple tails? And I'm going to finish it off with the tail move too. And that, my friends, is the game. Hope you enjoy uh, both these battles. They were very entertaining and instructional. Check out that bonus battle, and people, check out that merch. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.